During the election campaign, Aaron O'Toole and his party took a tough line on China. I think Canada's voice is needed alongside the United States and our Five Eyes allies to stand up to communist China and their influence in a negative way for human rights and global trade. And China's communist government appears to have pushed back. The research project Disinfo Watch found a coordinated communications campaign run during the election by actors controlled by the Chinese government that targeted mostly conservative campaigns. Foreign interference, information operations, influence operations, it's not a left or right issue. It's an issue of our democracy. That's how we need to look at this. Conservative incumbent Kenny Chu said he was singled out by Chinese proxies after he introduced a private member's bill that would have created a registry of any Canadian working for a foreign power, any foreign power. Many of the disinformation is spread through, for example, this social media platform controlled and filtered by a communist, communist regime called WeChat. DisinfoWatch tracked a coordinated disinformation campaign that falsely claimed Chu's bill would force all Chinese Canadians to register. And he heard about that from his Chinese Canadian constituents. They, they responded to me saying, you know, how could you be uh, anti-Chinese? Um, people start calling me sellout traders. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. The Conservative Party has brought their concerns about interference in 13 ridings to the attention of Canada's national security agencies, but so far, no action has been taken. Still, experts say what the Conservatives and some of their candidates allege about Chinese interference is consistent with what authorities have found in Taiwan and other Western democracies. Donna? All right, David Aiken in Ottawa, thank you.